just imagine for a moment that if you woke up in the middle of the night tonight, and you looked down, you took the covers off your body, and you saw the genitals of the opposite sex on your own body. What feelings of trauma would that put into you? What, how would that affect your ability to give and receive love? Uh, so just, just take a moment. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds and imagine what that would be like. And then ask yourself, what resources does a child or a teenager have to deal with that if they don't have the support of their family and community? You know, Heather, I, I, the, the, this came to a poignant uh, perspective for me when I heard Shara talk about it when she was discussing Chaz's uh, transgender transformation. And, and she said, you know, I, I, she goes, Shara said, I love being female so much, I could just imagine how awful it must be to suddenly not like that and, and be, be upset about your gender. Right. I mean, I just feel, I really feel badly for this woman because, I mean, hopefully this is a lesson to any parent that when their child does come, they're going to remember this story and, and immediately talk to this child and maybe get him or her help because I feel like this woman she probably didn't think that it was at that level, that he was at a suicidal level, you well, know? Course, she was yeah. just trying to grasp it. I mean, all, every little boy walks around in heels. You don't immediately think that they actually want to be a girl. And she might have just not taken it as seriously as she should have. And I just think, you know, it's so terrible because whenever there's a teen suicide, everybody looks to the parent. Like, they did something wrong. And it, it's got to be the worst feeling in the world, worse than any other way of losing a child. It's somehow pointed like you did something wrong and I really feel badly for and, that. And, and to sort of, again, understand why we're approaching this, the way we're approaching this argument is we're trying to understand what we're doing wrong, all of us. What are we all doing wrong that we're not helping parents understand and see and perceive and support these kinds of things when something like this happens to someone, someone likes they love comes to them with these sorts of issues. On the phone I have Liz Gordos who worked with Leela at an amusement park. Now Liz, your understanding was that Leela was a gay male, and she she presented as he she presented as male to you at work. And by the way, full disclosure for for me and me and maybe Nina, you can straighten me out. I, I have trouble. I don't have the language to talk about this. Oftentimes, I stumble. Please straighten me out. I'm happy to be to be educated about this, but, but don't attack sure. everybody. I'm just trying to trying to do what's right. So, Liz, if you could answer that question. Um. Well, when it came for me to working with Leela. Um, for the short summer that I did work with her, uh, it is true that she did only come out to me as a gay male. And honestly, I think it was because of the fact that when you feel so confused in your sexuality and then, like, you ha you're you told by counselors and by people that are supposed to support you that what you're feeling is wrong, like, all of a sudden you, you're thrown into a spot where people do accept you and then you're in that gray area of like will will they accept me if i come out will right they, will, well, or, you know, or, or are, imagine are they be wrong i imagine eric i see his concern on your face i imagine if people are already telling you your sexual orientation is wrong right. if i reveal this other more tender issue oh my god erica what might they think of that no, absolutely. I mean, I think this is just a heartbreaking story from the level of the parents to friends and family. And I, I guess I just, what I would like to see on all levels, parents, friends, and family, is just an openness um, that whatever their child tells them about their sexuality, that it's okay and that we're going to figure this out together because that feeling that the child has, whether it's just that they're gay or straight or that it's transgender, is that, oh my God, they're not going to accept me. I want to kill myself. And, and they don't, the parents don't realize how deadly this feeling right. is how, within a child like this, this and and how dangerous it is and and that it can get it can lead to suicide so we i don't know if we need to have some kind of education around this but it sounds like the parents even after the fact are still saying my son and my right. son so i i mean some of it might be just kind of built in with religion and stuff well, but it's just i uh, mean uh, the it, training could help well nina let me let me sort of finish this conversation with you what do we need to do mm -hmm. what do all of us need to do well, I think that we need to acknowledge the seriousness of the matter. I, 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 when someone refers to me in a inappropriate gendered pronoun, so if someone called me a man, I would consider that probably the same, with the same gravitas that a black person would, would feel when they're addressed with the N-word. 